right guys uh so my dad did a thing today my dad went home and bought a Fortec 3.0 because i have my Fortec 2.0 and we were trying to build somewhat matching speed running cars type of deal um however he went on bought a vatera v100 and that car just don't compare to the Fortec in my uh in my personal opinion um i don't think it's that great of a car um that's just my amateur opinion but the first thing i want to do guys is just, i wanted to give you a comparison i might give you a comparison these but i also want to give you my first impressions on this thing um, my first impressions on this thing is it's absolutely enormous if you look at it like just even sitting to the Fortec, this is my back wheel to it look how much bigger that thing is it is just absolutely huge so we're gonna move my Fortec aside and we're gonna look at this thing so the mustang of course is gonna have some differences we'll talk about that later let's just dive into this thing and talk about it so this is going to be your Fortec 3.0. It is the Corvette C8 Stingray body. This one is blue. Um, if you look at the body, it is very, very detailed. Very good job, Traxxas, on this body. From front to back, come over the top, you can see your engine in there, which is very, very cool. Traxxas, awesome job. And then, guys, one thing you'll notice right off the bat that's a lot different is instead of having body clips you come up under the body here you do the back first you pull the front and that's how your body comes off it is a clipless design as you can see here there is your front clip a little push and your back one a little push and then there's that engine mounted up in the window and you do have buckets in here for full lights and everything if someone was to wish to do that i'm guessing traxxas will be coming out with a light kit for this car when they do, that'll look absolutely insane. I don't want to scratch that body too much. It's still new, but... And then here is the chassis. As you can see, looking at it, it is a lot longer than the stock uh, Fortec chassis or the Fortec 2.0 chassis or the original Fortec chassis, I guess you could say. Already up front, I noticed a different bumper on here, but that's, of course, because of the clipless design in the back. There is no body post, but it does look like tracks as possibly. Nope. Okay, I thought there'd be holes through this, but there's not. Oh, I guess it's a huge line up the body in there. I thought maybe these were like you could put body posts on these and up here, but that's actually just the way the body aligns on the on the chassis to make it easier to clip in. And you have this very long battery tray on here, guys. This thing is ridiculously long if you remove this foam. It was just crazy how long that is. Oh my god. Now one of the things that I was very disappointed to see with this car, this car cost $329 out the door. And this is one of the things I was very disappointed to see Traxxas doing. This car has the TQ radio. And in my opinion, you're paying $329 for a car, or even $300 for a brush car. Traxxas, throw in that TQI radio. Don't be cheap bastards. That's so shitty. No TQI radio. What the fuck? But anyways, so there's a car. As you can see, it's pretty sampler to this. Um, I'm sure, oh, I do. So if you look over here, I have my stock electronics on my Fortec that are there. Same thing is going to be in this car that you're seeing here. So basically, you got longer. And I don't think you got wider, but we're going to check that. I think it's just longer. I don't believe it's wider. So we'll check that in a little bit here. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and throw this body back on real quick. And this is how easy it is to do that, guys. That is how easy it is to put the body on. The body is pretty secure. Don't feel like it's just going to fall right after, like some of the tracks that's clipless designs that you have. Like the, the X-Max likes to fall off. And the Rustler 4x4 once in a while will fall off. But otherwise, no, not really. Um, no issues with that whatsoever. But now, guys, we're gonna move on to the next video, our next part of the video, and we're gonna compare this thing to the Fortec 2.0. Um, so my final, my final conjunction on this thing is, it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely huge. Um, I think it'll make a good speeder in a car eventually when you get the right parts for it. But we'll talk about that in a bit too. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna set the camera down. I'm gonna pause it, and then we're gonna put these together, and I'll show you them. So guys, here is my Fortec 2.0. This is the Mustang, of course, the Boss 302. As you can see, my body's really beat up from me doing speed runs and stuff with it. But if you look here, you can see 
where the wheels line up. So here's my front wheel middle, here's this front wheel middle, and then in the back the wheels are centered together. So as you can see, this Corvette is absolutely huge. Um, the next thing I want to do, I'm going to show you guys is, so let's pull the body out this one. This way you'll be able to see it a lot better together. Um, here we go one more time just for size comparison. Zooming over the top, the back wheel is matched up. Coming over the chassis of this one, here is the chassis of this one. You can see everything on this one is just bigger. Um, besides your motor, your speed control, they both have the same radios. Um, mine, when it was stock, had the same system in it. Um, both have the stock system in them from, from factory. Um, as you can see, mine has body posts, of course. And if you look at the front, the front bumpers are a lot different. The Corvette one, of course, has this little underlay that goes under the body to help with uh, wind and stuff, which is very nice. So I have a foam top bumper here. I could see this breaking in the future foam top bumper and then you have your mount of course for your body here's your foam bumper you have no front bumper and then here is your mount for your body as you can see I've lost a couple of these on this thing um, so now if we zoom up here to the center same with this one zoom up here to the center you can see it's still using the same type of design here they should both have the same steering servos as they do they both look to have the same receiver boxes as they do um, now if we talk about battery tray, this battery tray on this thing is just long, it is as long as can be. Um, this one's not as long, and as you can see I took my thing off because I put a strap through it as you can see there to fit my 3S batteries. I think this one will be a lot easier to fit 3S batteries in just being how long it is, possibly. Um, actually here, let me get the 3S battery quick. That I've been trying to fit. Okay, so this is one of my 3S batteries I was trying to fit in here that would not fit. It would not fit in the Fortec 2.0. Okay, so, if you try, you really can cram it in there. The Fortec, I could not get it to do this. Um, I don't know how often I would do this being, I mean, I guess the battery's pretty secure. The battery's pretty secure in there. Um, so you can fit bigger batteries in it, which is absolutely awesome. So I've got to throw that back down here. So that's awesome tracks. That's a good job on that. Fit a bigger battery. Um, if you look at the tray, you'll see. So if we just come up here, look like this. Come over here. This one, this ESC might be moved a little forward, but you have a lot more spacing in there. Either way you look at it on the chassis. One thing Traxxas did a really good job on with this thing, and I fucking hate this about my Fortec 2.0, is that. They got rid of that big stupid long freaking antenna that sticks out. See, so you can see it there. It's a little small one on the Fortec 3.0, big huge one on the 2.0. So if we flip them around, I just want to get the back ends quick for you guys. So we'll put them side by side. Now look, you're going to really see the size difference in these things. That's just crazy. Here is your Fortec 2.0. The Fortec 2.0 um, feels like it comes with pretty tough brushed tires. Um, my 3.0 did not, but these feel just about as hard as the VXL tires I put on my my 2.0, which is awesome. Good job with that track. It's maybe not as tight, or as tight, sorry, is uh, hard, but just about there. So pretty good job with that track. I like that you did that. Um, but one thing you'll also notice with these tires is they're a lot bigger around um, something else. I think this thing is wider I think it's wider so let me grab a tape measure quick let's see here um, I don't have a millimeter tape measure or nothing but so we're gonna say 
that's about so as you can see there on the Fortec 3.0 yes oh my god guys it is a ton wider not a ton but about a quarter of an inch wider yeah it's about a quarter of an inch wider Jesus but now let's do this quick so there's a tire there's your measurement on your tire just so you guys can kind of see that no, here's your measurement. The tires are also a lot wider, and that's making this one a lot wider um, on the Fortec 3.0. Let's throw the bodies back on them. Um, give me a second here, I'm gonna throw the bodies back on both. If you guys look, these are both very nice looking cars. However, I think the Corvette for 329 um, is a pretty good deal um, for what you're getting when you compare it to like the Fortec 2.0. Um, the size kind of bothers me on the Fortec 3.0 because I think it's going to be harder to find bodies for this thing. Um, but eventually they'll come out with them. Eventually I'm sure someone will make a speedrun body for this thing. Maybe this body won't be too bad as a speedrun being how, you know, it is. But this Mustang body is absolutely terrible for speedruns. Um, but I do like that. I like the design of this body. I love the mirrors on the side. I love the engine in the back. I love the rims that's got on it. I love how cool it looks just sitting there. It looks absolutely awesome. Good job, Traxxas, on this Ford Tech 3.0. But you should have included a TQI radio on this thing. It would have made it even more worth it for people to buy. Um, I love they did the light buckets up front. I love the light buckets up back. Um, that tells me Traxxas has an LED kit coming out for this thing, which will be absolutely awesome when it comes out. Hopefully, they don't make it Traxxas connector specific. Or they don't make it track so specific if you know what I'm saying. But that will all come with time. We will see when that happens. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and leave a subscribe. If you guys want to see this thing ran, put it in the comments and I'll let you see it ran brushed. And then we'll put a brush system in it. Same way this thing's got it and we'll run it.